Hello and welcome to Webdem Mentors YouTube channel and you are watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about arithmetic operators in Java. Arithmetic operators are used in arithmetic operations of mathematics. So if you have learned mathematics you will know what is arithmetic operations. So these arithmetic operations includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and various other calculations. So just like how you use the symbols in the arithmetic operations of mathematics, when you write an equation, you're going to use the same kind of a symbol in arithmetic operators of Java. And we're going to actually now implement all these arithmetic operations in our program. So I'm going to use Eclipse IDE for writing the program for the arithmetic operators. You can use the NetBeans as well. It's going to have the same process. So I have already created videos on how to install the Eclipse and NetBeans IDE and also shown you how to actually write a program, compile it and execute the program using the IDEs. So right now I'm going to open my Eclipse IDE. It's going to take some time to load up. I've selected the Dementors as my workspace directory where my project files will be saved. So this is the hello world.java file that we have created in the last video for Eclipse. So I'm going to create a new class file which I'm going to name as arithmetic operations to do the arithmetic operations so it has created the class for me so I'm going to directly create my main method public static wide main string args so you created the main method I'm going to actually declare two variables integer a is equal to 20 but uh, integer b or to 10. So I have created two variables named as a and b and given 20 for a and given 10 for b. So you can see a little bit of a warning that comes up because of the reason that this value or this variable is not used anywhere in my program. You can actually see these warnings when your variables has been declared but not used anywhere. So that means it's going to take up unnecessary space when you run the program without any need for them. So right now I'm going to actually start the operators. So it's going to be addition first with the addition operator, which is plus int sum is equal to a plus b. So I've given space in order to make it clear for you people. And then we're going to go with subtraction int subtract z equal to a minus B. and then we go with multiplication int multiply is equal to a star b then division int divide is equal to a b Sorry about the spacing, I don't use spaces normally, so it's making difference. Int mod is equal to A mod B. And we come into the increment. Increment doesn't need you to, to specify any integer variables. So I'm going to directly increment my A variable, and then I'm going to directly decrement my B variable. So we're going to actually print out each of these variables in order to find the answer. So I'm going to system dot out, yeah, out dot print Allen. So we have actually created the method that's going to print out my values. I'm going to copy it because I'm going to use it over and over again for all the variables. So I'm going to print out the sum first. And the next line, I'm going to print out the subtract. And in the next line, I'm going to print out the multiply. So as I type each and every variable, you can see that the yellow line beneath the variable is disappearing. Because we have started using the variable, it's kind of necessary for that variable to be there. So it's not going to give you the error or the warning message that this local variable is not used up. So finally, we go with mod. So now I'm going to actually finally finish off the program by printing out the actual value of A and B. 
bottom I'm going to also print out the value of A and B before any of these calculations has been made so it's going to print out A and print out B I'm going to save the file now I'm going to run the file so we have got a huge list of numbers so first is 20 which is nothing but the value of A second is 10 which is the value of B so now we're getting 30 which is the addition of A and B so A plus B gives 30 and subtraction gives 10 A minus B gives 10 multiplication so A star B gives you 200 which is 20 into 10 divide A by B gives you 2 20 divided by 10 gives you 2 and mod of A B gives you 0 because you're not going to get any reminder in here so the next value is A plus plus which is nothing but 20 plus 1 which is 21 and then the 9 10 minus 1 gives you 9 so it's going to increment the value of A and decrement the value of B so 21 and 9 is the result so I'm going to just get in mod beneath the decrement function save it and running the file now and you can see that the mod value is 3 now because we have incremented the value of A which is 21 and decremented the value of B which is going to be now 9 so 21 divided by 9 gives you 18 plus 3 so 3 is the reminder so that's how you actually do the arithmetic operations in Java so in order to make it clear I'm going to add some text before each and every line that has been printed so this also going to show you how to actually concatenate strings so the same plus the addition operator is going to be used as concatenation operator when used along with this string so I'm going to add some string in here so it's going to be initial value of a so now you can see that there is an error showing that syntax error on token A delete this token so in order to add this to the string that I've already written I'm going to use plus so this is going to add add in the sense when it comes to string it's going to concatenate it that means it's going to add the 20 along with the string so it's going to print out initial value of A colon 20 so we're going to do the same thing for the next initial value of B is going to be 10 so I'm going to use the concatenation operator in here so next sum of two variables sum of a and b and we're going to use the concatenation here so now subtraction of b from a this is the right string and I'm going to concatenate subtract to that so then multiplication of a and B and I'm going to concatenate multiply division of A by B finally we're going to print out a mod value modulus of A by B concatenate it increment of A decrement of B so I'm going to save it I'm going to run the project and you can see that each and every value is printed along with the strings but this is how you print something with some nice way of saying what the value is for so that's the end of the program that also ends the video so it's a part of an operators in java thank you for watching this video and hope this was useful if you find this video useful please hit the like button also share with your friends and if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel if you have any comments or suggestions or feedback please feel free to share it and you can share that in the comment section of this video or in the google plus page facebook page or twitter feed you can also contact me personally through my social link that is in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.